So then uh, you open the door to this, Natsuko, and I, I really don't mean this to sound glib, even though it runs the risk of doing so. Is Shakespeare the antidote to social media to back up to your prior? Oh, if you can persuade them, yes. But I yeah, mean, sure. you know, how, how can you force that? Or modern technology, I should mm. say. You know, because I, I, when you describe the length of the thoughts that we have to engage yeah, with and yeah. the, the, the sort of yeah. the fact that they live in what you might call the gut brain, yeah. we are talking about something that it's lives on the opposite. It's not just me that calls it the gut no, no, brain. No, no. There is a book mm. called okay. the gut brain. <laughs> <laughs> I trust that. But, um, but that is something that, that technology doesn't encourage. I don't know. Mm. Maybe you know this. I, I get the feeling when I do it, and certainly when I see it when I work with, with students, that it kind of aligns you in a, whatever classical means is a harmony and oh. you know it, it oh. just the, the pieces sort of fit oh. uh, in a emotional psychological physical uh, feeling where you just I guess Bach does that yeah. to, to people's brains I don't oh, know I think it? that's bullshit really do <laughs> yes, you really yes mm -hmm. because I think that that classical I think we're all born classical, yeah. and then we are confined to contemporary once we um, are acculturated. I, we are born behaving badly. Oh yes, okay. And you've got to behave badly if you're going to play Lear, uh, if you're going to play Goneril, if you're going to play, uh, you know. But all don't of you them. don't you but find that when you say that language, no. something happens inside of well, you? Well, that's a different thing. That's that that I. I think there's a real misrepresentation of the of the word classical because oh. it it has this sense of harmony, but uh, the the it, it's harmonizing th unless you have the chaos, the wildness that the harmony comes in on and manages and gives some order to, then uh, it's really dull. Well, that's true. It's it's, it's a straitjacket. Yeah. Uh, that's why so much Shakespeare teaching, training, which says you've got to do de dum de dum de dum de dum de dum, mm -hmm. you know, and then you've got to do caesuras, and then you've got to do this ghastly thing called enjambment. And if I can get my little number in on this thing, that'd be great. <laughs> um, uh, and then, but what's it all for? It's so that you end up speaking like a human being, a very alive human being. Yes. Um, uh, and. It, it's an interesting that it, it carries out the balance of chaos and order, the chain of being being the order, but, and all of that's acting on you, but so that you can manage behaving as a full human being, which is very often very badly behaved. But don't you think that if you match that, that that's what harmony is? If you're matching the rage and the anger and the jealousy and... If so you... long as we get that all in there, yes. Because if you say <laughs> classical and harmony, it all sounds... I see. You know what I mean? You've got to... Sounds too controlled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's and, not and how I mean it. But no, I know, yeah. but that's why I had to sort of yeah, exactly. stir it up.